Welcome back everyone to Moons and Pearls. I'm here to do a spiritual update for Scorpio. How are you guys doing? Um, I want to send a big thank, thank you to each and every one of you guys for your love and your support. Um, I've been just struggling with uh, my allergies where I'm at right now, so I have to take a little time off and, and help deal with that. But I appreciate all of your love and patience. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Scorpio, let's see what's in your general energy. If you haven't already done so, make sure you like, share, subscribe. We would love to have you guys. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on with Scorpio. What's been in the current energy for Scorpio? I feel like you've been trying to trust your journey and the process. I also feel like you've been going through changes um, and through these changes, you sometimes wonder, is this the right path for me? Did I make the right decision, Scorpio? There's a little bit of a blockage here um, in terms of how much you believe in yourself, okay? So we also have feeling some sort of shame and guilt around sexuality and pleasure, overindulging um, or withholding from your true deepest desires, um, and sovereignty. Giving your power away, seeking approval, unwilling to take responsibility or decide untapped potential. But I feel like I, I send Scorpio that for you, you've been around uh, a specific person. So it's almost like you really trust this person and the, the decisions that you make. And I'm stuttering. I almost feel like sometimes you get nervous in terms of um, making decisions. So you're, you're trying to trust your process and, and working on building more of that um, esteem for you guys, self-esteem. So let's see what's been challenging Scorpio. What's been the challenge for Scorpio? If you haven't already done so, make sure you like, share, subscribe, you guys. Repeated patterns, um, trying to move forward, but there's something that is not honest. It's there's there's someone that's not able to take care of themselves, either financially or emotionally. I see maybe a babe, someone that has kids here, um, Scorpio, but there's forward movements, but there's like, I'm feeling like a, a web of lies or entanglements, detanglements, a bunch of things going on. But there's this energy of wanting to keep moving forward here. Tell me more about this challenge. Yep. Moving towards victory, but it's it's moving away from like old ways and patterns. Um, tell me more. Yep. Separation from, there's also been either a loss of money. There's money involved here um, of a home, um, finances, things like that. Tell me more. Instead, instead instability of finances if not you somebody else uh, but I feel like you for, like you're wondering where you should put your money and your energy right now um, as you can we're moving into current energy um, you are very smart and you are very calculating in a good way but you're trying to move away from the way you used to do things and trying to figure out a better way to do things let's see in the current energy for Scorpio it's a little stubborn energy. Um, there's a divorce, separation. That's that energy still still lingers around the current energy. Okay, I don't have to say this again. Separation, divorce, um, spying. Somebody's heavily spying um, on somebody. Tell me more on this energy. Sagittarius energy. Somebody's made a decision. Somebody's trying to balance themselves out right now. Again, if, if this is not you, this is somebody else, but this comes after a tower moment. I do feel like people have moved out of a home or had to move out of, out of a home, um, but there is justice here, Scorpio. So I'm also hearing like, like court system, legal, so now somebody also has to work, work on themselves, work on their money or their finances. But I feel like it's been very, um, a lot of changes in the last year for you, Scorpio. Tell me more. No new beginnings, no passion with this person or this situation. I'm also feeling a sense of frustration. Um, this person that was with you was probably one of your biggest blockages. And there's a lot of um, heartbreak and, and heartbreak and healing that needs to occur, Scorpio. Let's see what's coming towards you and then your future. 
there's a new offer, whether it's a job or a new person or an upgrade. Um, and this is, you're gonna question this, I feel like, because of your past and it's coming, it's gonna look like a really good offer, but it is up to you when to close these cycles as well. Um, you have the power to do so. Um, but sometimes I feel like the memories and the trauma has been so bad that it's not easy for you to let go of this and start something new. Um, and sometimes I even feel like there's a maturity in the energy, if not you, someone else. I, someone was like, um, they would give in order, whether it was money or finances, but in order to manipulate you or the situation. Yeah. One more about what's coming towards Taurus Scorpio. Yeah, you're going to be really defensive on this energy. Let's see what's the advice for Scorpio. Um, find their stability. Find, um, do things more logically with less emotion. Remove your emotion as much as you can. And find your stability. You have the ability to find that within you. Um, so this is what your spirit guides are telling you here. All right, let's see. What else do we have for Scorpio from this? beautiful deck here. What do we have for Scorpio? Goodness. Too many cards. Okay, we'll do this. We have the tree of life. You are deeply connected to the world around you and dependent on it for your ability to grow and thrive. So this might be uh, essential for you balancing your life. Live, weave your spells by the light of stars and listen to your inner voice. Okay? And do some from this deck, our self care deck that I, you guys already know. Friend, be as good as a friend to yourself as you are to others. Love, love people, love them with all your heart. Be sure to love yourself first. And abundance, being a thoughtful steward for the money you already have is the secret to creating more abundance. When you trust to handle more, that's when more shows up. And again, we saw uh, the finance situation in your reading. Um, let me know, you guys, if these, these messages resonate with you guys. I love connecting with you guys um, and seeing. Meditate and contemplate is here. Water energy. Be bold and make the first move. And again, you might be contemplating an investment right now. Adjustments are required. And whether it's a place of where you live, I also feel like it's an adjustment of your energy, okay? Um, let's see, what do we have from our angel cards? For you guys, what do we have for our beautiful Scorpios? In the near future, opportunity. See, we talked about this new, new blessing or new thing coming your way in the near future and recovery and we also talked about the healing that you've been going through so beautiful way to um confirm the things we've been talking about so we have in the near future what you are asking about will occur very soon so you won't ha have to wait much longer stay optimistic and continue upon upon your current path be open to receiving and right after receiving we have opportunity we have opportunity. Positive growth and expansion is on the horizon for you. This opportunity may bring with it inspiration and insight, or it could be the chance you have been waiting for to take action on ideas you already have. You may be seeking to manifest a chance to create changes in your career. Buy or sell a home. Bring romance into your life. Whatever your desires, your angels are about to open a door of possibilities for you. Step right through. All right, you guys, this was your reading. If you haven't already done so, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Ciao.